A major leak from Tesla's supply chain just sent shockwaves through the tech world. The Tesla Pi Phone 2026, rumored to be the first smartphone with direct Starlink satellite connectivity, no SIM, no traditional carrier, has reportedly completed testing and is now entering limited-scale production. This isn't some wild rumor. The source comes from insiders who previously leaked accurate info on the Cybertruck and Optimus robot. And this time, what's coming could force Apple and Samsung to seriously rethink their strategies. So how does this new phone actually work without a SIM card? Can it really connect anywhere on Earth, even off-grid? And what's the game plan behind Elon Musk's latest tech disruption? You're watching Auto Gear Shift, the channel that cuts through hype and dives deep into the real tech behind Tesla's boldest moves, with a focus on practical value for real users, not just flashy headlines. If you're one of the first 2,515 subscribers, you'll be able to say, I was here before the Pi phone hit the market. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and let's shift into high gear with the latest from Tesla. So, where exactly did this leak come from? And why is it worth paying attention to? According to insiders, the source is a former engineer who worked on the connectivity module for the Starlink Mini, a compact version of SpaceX's satellite kit. This is someone who's been deep in the trenches of Starlink hardware, not a random blogger. Supporting the claim, an image has surfaced showing a prototype Pi Phone motherboard with a built-in omnidirectional Ku-band antenna seamlessly integrated into the phone's metal frame, suggesting Starlink isn't just an add-on, it's at the core of this design. The Ku-band, 12 to 18 gigahertz, is commonly used in satellite communications because of its balance between speed and size. The omnidirectional antenna integration suggests the phone won't require users to manually point towards satellites, similar to how Starlink Roam works today, but miniaturized for handheld use. This alone is a breakthrough in mobile satellite tech, reducing power consumption while maintaining signal lock. The engineer in question was reportedly part of SpaceX's hardware integration team between late 2022 and mid-2024. During that time, the team completed over 200 successful low-orbit Starlink mini-deployments. With expertise in miniaturized satellite architecture, this source brings rare credibility to the Pi Phone's satellite-first design. The biggest change here is this. Starlink connectivity is real this time. There's no SIM slot and no eSIM either. The Pi Phone would communicate directly with LEO satellites, bypassing traditional mobile carriers entirely. Based on internal benchmarks, users could expect download speeds between 70 to 120 megabits per second, with latency under 40 milliseconds, effectively on par with strong 4G in urban settings. And because it works anywhere with a clear sky, mountains, islands, deserts, this is a game changer for workers in remote fields, outdoor enthusiasts, or anyone tired of dead zones. SpaceX currently has over 6,000 Starlink satellites in low Earth orbit, as of Q2 2025, and the Pi phone is expected to auto-switch between at least three satellites at once for signal redundancy. Unlike other satellite phones that are slow, voice-only, or data-limited, this is essentially broadband from orbit in your pocket, with performance close to urban 5G and none of the infrastructure overhead. Second. The phone is designed to last, and last long. Battery specs leaked suggest a 7,000 to 8,000 milliamp hour cell, heavily optimized by Tesla's proprietary Tesla OS. But more interestingly, the back panel is said to be coated with a nano photovoltaic film that trickle charges the battery using sunlight. It won't replace wired charging, but it could extend uptime during the day by several hours. This design philosophy clearly prioritizes endurance over raw performance, ideal for users who value reliability, not screen refresh rates. Assuming the nanofilm provides even 200 milliwatts under typical daylight conditions, that's roughly 1.6 watt-hours over an 8-hour exposure, translating to about 5-7% to of daily charge recovered passively. For low-usage scenarios like camping or remote work, this makes a real difference. Combined with Tesla OS's rumored deep standby mode, 
0.2% battery drain per hour, the phone could go multiple days without charging in standby mode. The third major shift is the operating system. Unlike most phones that rely on Android or iOS, the Pi phone is rumored to run a fully custom Tesla OS built from scratch. That means no Google, no Apple, no third-party trackers, and no baked-in ads. Tesla OS is said to offer deep integration with Tesla's ecosystem, unlocking your car, syncing route maps, managing charging schedules, and potentially even controlling a Tesla Optimus robot down the road. The UI is deliberately clean, with large text and simplified navigation, clearly designed for users who prefer function over flash, especially in the 45-plus age range. Leaked UI mockups suggest Tesla OS will feature Tesla ID as the core login, similar to Apple ID, and tie into Optimus control panels, wall charger diagnostics, and even solar roof management. Unlike Android Auto or CarPlay, these functions are expected to be native, not app-based. That means faster access and better power efficiency, especially over Starlink where every kilobyte counts. Why is Elon Musk doing this now? It fits his broader pattern, cut out the middlemen. Just as Tesla eliminated car dealerships, the Pi phone bypasses telecom giants. While Apple still works hand-in-hand -hand with mobile carriers, and Google profits off user data. Musk has long advocated for private, ad-free, non-invasive platforms. The combination of Tesla, SpaceX, and Neuralink could form a fully integrated tech ecosystem, completely independent of big tech's traditional gatekeepers. By 2026, Tesla could offer a complete vertical stack, a phone that talks to your car via Tesla OS, connects to the internet via Starlink, and one day even links to your brain via Neuralink. If this unfolds as planned, it's not just a new phone, it's a new layer of infrastructure. And that's where things stand. The Tesla Pi phone is no longer just a rumor. It's on the move and it could completely reshape how we stay connected, especially in places where traditional phones fail. If a smartphone really lasts three days and charges with sunlight, would you consider switching for peace of mind? Do you see yourself using a phone like this while working outdoors, camping, or even just avoiding dropped calls? If this sounds like the kind of tech shift you want to follow, hit that like button, subscribe to Auto Gear Shift, and turn on the bell so you won't miss the latest updates as the Pi phone moves closer to launch.